Hey, this is Jay Lee. Hope all is well. I wanted to thank everyone for coming to our last uh, UFO sighting event over at Sequoia Park on January 31st, 2021. It was great seeing everyone uh, come over to this event because we haven't had one in like, geez, three months. Although we only saw a few things, um, it was just great to be around some great ufologists. We had called twice uh, for UFOs to come to our location, and then finally this one showed up. I would say that it was probably three quarters of a mile to a mile away. I think that this one would be easy to blow off because of the recognizable features, but I would say that some of the other parts of this object uh, are very unrecognizable. This unrecognizable blob structure reminds me of this thing I call a hitchhiker. A hitchhiker could be a biological or mechanical entity, and they actually use man-made structures in order to camouflage to hide their presence. Here's a few hitchhikers that I've caught previously. They really are amazing. So because this thing showed up after we called for it, we have to examine it. A good rule of thumb is to follow around an object, even if you recognize it, still follow it for a couple of minutes because there might be a flyby that comes by. It's happened to me many times. You'd be kicking yourself if you end up missing a flyby. So what really stood out to me was, well, number one, it showed up. And number two, the attachment of the six to the lower portion. I'm hoping you could recognize that the attachment of the six to the unrecognizable portion to the bottom is attached by almost like a, it looks like a web. But I also want you to recognize that the attachment is at the very bottom apex of the six. As you can see, the bottom portion is acting like an anchor. It's obviously heavier than the six. It's almost like the six is actually kind of dragging this thing along. Now, if you take a look at a store-bought six, you can see that the attachments at the bottom of the six uh, have, there's no room for a web or mesh of attachments, yet this one has it. For number three, take a good look at this object that's being dragged around. Whatever it is, it's pretty big and also a little heavy, but it's exactly this presentation that's normal for the hitchhiker. Why is it disguising itself? I suspect that it doesn't want to be seen. Does it not want to be seen by humans? Possibly. If you just happened to look up into the sky and saw this thing, uh, you probably wouldn't give it a second thought. Although this could be some sort of surveillance equipment. I mean, look, look how it's rotating. Notice which direction it's rotating. It kind of looks like a radar. Discoveries like these are reserved for the people who are paying attention. Also, having good equipment helps. Could this be biological? Sure. If it's some sort of biological entity, it either wants to reserve its strength, or it may be hiding itself from the dinosaurs of the skies, the birds, which are some nasty animals. They know that these creatures will not attack a balloon-type structure. Nothing wants to get tangled up in the skies at 4,000 feet. As you saw earlier, hitchhikers can take on many different sizes and shapes. Sometimes you'll see them move into different positions. So my next question is, are we supposed to be seeing this? Well, the only thing I could say about that is that we called for it and it came to our location. It wanted to be seen. And if you ask me, it's given us quite a show. We chose the date, time and place we called for it and this thing came. I think it was more than just a coincidence. If you think this is normal and you think about it, how long do you think it would take you to see something abnormal like this? We only go out once a month. No, seriously, what are the chances? If you don't think that this is unusual, do you think you can capture something like this? Publicly set a date, time, and place and look up into the sky and see if you could see something unusual. It would take you a hundred years. Unusual things just don't fly around. UFOs do. To me, this blob of an anchor is not normal. This is an indication of imitation. Your average person was not supposed to notice this, but we did. Anyway, I hope you guys liked the video. Please come to our next UFO sighting event. All you have to do is join LA UFO channel on meetup.com and we'll let you know when the next uh, live event will be taking place. So anyway, we'll see you guys next time.